Um, on this particular bench, I use, this is where I store all my, um, my paints. I've got my kettle here to warm up my um, water from when I'm doing decal placement. Got a selection of acrylics, uh, Gunzi, Tamiya. And I think that's pretty much in this drawer. We also got some um, Games Workshop paints here as well. I use that when I'm doing minis. So just like obviously this is a uh, an accumulation over several years. Like I said, you find that as you start finishing your kits, uh, all of a sudden things start to uh, get smaller. <laughs> uh, Vallejo acrylics, I love these things in game colors and Vallejo acrylics. I almost purely uh, just use these for my mini painting. They're just a great acrylic for brush painting. Um, they also do an air brushing equivalent. I've yet to use that, uh, but this particular one, you know, you will need to think considerably to, to do any airbrushing with it. I'm not quite sure what the results will be like. They're definitely not made for airbrushing, this particular brand, but fantastic paint for, um, air, for just paint brushing. We got some um, old testers and enamels, uh, as well as some of their buffing and non-buffing metallizers. They're very good paint. Um, we've got some Derivian. This is a good Australian paint. If you can get that, unfortunately not too many people stock it, but if you can get Derivian um, mini paints, they're very good as well. And always good to support Australian companies. Uh, we've got some Tamiya enamels. As you can see from this particular drawer, I'm phasing out my enamels. I um, don't find much use for them anymore these days, but we've got some tubes of artist oils. I use these um, for making washes and filters and things like that. An old tube of Tamiya putty. Um, and here's my cu cutting compounds that I couldn't find earlier, so definitely looks like I need to reorganize my drawers. What else do we have in here? Just bits and pieces, nothing really too exciting. Uh, now we have here a selection of the good old Humbrol enamels. Again, these are uh, starting to thin out. I will no longer be purchasing these and switch to acrylics. Some craft ribbon. Now I use this for making seat belts. This is about a two millimeter diameter. Um, got black and red, red there, which happens to be my favorite for uh, that kind of stuff. There was approximately two meters all rolled up in that. So there's literally enough for almost a lifetime. I've also got some, um, just some acrylic art paints, which I use similar to I use my uh, oil paints for washes and filters. But when I want to do over, say, an enamel base, I use my acrylics. And there's my other tube of uh, Tamiya compound. So I put that together now. So that's the course, which is normally used before any prep work. I've got my fine, which is used uh, after you've applied your uh, final wet coats. And we've got a finish, which is done just before you do your wax. So one, two, three plus the wax will give you a really nice finish. And this is my bits and pieces drawers. We've got in this box some old pastels. Um, you know, this is my bits and pieces box really. Just stuff I've accumulated, bits and pieces from different kits. You, know, you can see some spare wheels there, and some cork, uh, some mask oil, uh, some tube styrene, hex rod, strip styrene, a whole lot of different stuff that I use as bits and pieces. Uh, some Outclad Prisma color paints, prismatic. It's been sitting in my drawer for a while, so you shake that up and you know get the idea of what that's all about. Uh, and that's it. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully it's um, you've seen something which sparks your interest and uh, makes you want to go out and say you know I might just try that. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk soon.